hey friends, I purchased a rescue box containing 25 t-shirts. That's how it was advertised on ThreadUp. It was $25, but I have a lot of points, so I basically paid nothing for the shirts. I bought the shirts intentionally to bleach and tie-dye with the sole purpose of selling in my Etsy store. So I'm going to show you the shirts, what I'm going to do with them, and then the completed process when I'm finished. So stay tuned. <laughs> In my intro, I did purchase a rescue box containing 25 advertised as t-shirts from ThreadUp. They were $25.99, I believe. I could be wrong, but I have points where, um, because I said in rescue boxes, because I make purchases, um, I was able to get $10 off and um, free shipping on this box. So I basically paid nothing with the full intention of reselling these shirts after I bleach and tie-dye. So I'm going to show you. This is the box that they came in. It's empty now. I couldn't do a surprise box. I didn't want to do that and open it up or anything like that. I wanted to go through each item to determine what I was going to do with the shirts. So again, it was 25 shirts, right? Um, I wrote it down. I got 25 shirts. I decided not to use eight of them because they just didn't jump out at me. Um, nothing exciting about them. Nine, I'm going to bleach. Seven, I'm going to tie-dye. And I gave one to my daughter. It was a Victoria's Secret pink tank top. So here are, I'm going to start off first with the pile. I broke them up into piles. I'm going to start off with the pile that I'm going to bleach. Now, after I do this process of showing you, I'll take a couple days to do the bleach and the tie-dye, and then I'll come back and show you each individual shirt again, okay? So this right here is, I'm starting off with my bleach pile, just a plain old tank top. This is a no boundaries tank top, lightweight. So I'm going to bleach it. The darker items bleach a little bit better. You can bleach lighter things, but everything that's light, I'm going to tie-dye. This I thought was a cute shirt. I didn't pay anything for it, so I'm going to bleach it. Dunkin' Donuts, it says, friends don't let friends drink Starbucks. So there's that. I like that. It's brown. And all these shirts are in really great condition. Some of them are new without tags. This is um, Native NYC. So it says, bad Native American ASS. <laughs> I don't do a lot of cussing, so I don't want it in my videos. But there's that. Um, this is kind of spooky. Probably be great for Halloween. Some eyes. It's a brown shirt. This one I like, it says Queens in the North are born in March. I think somebody would appreciate that. Very soft top. It's really nice. It is a um, 2XL, so that's going to be great. This is just a Marona shirt. Marona, I think, is Target. Long sleeve, be perfect for the fall. I'm going to move these out of the way. Okay, from here. Is this a scorpion? I think that would be great. It's a unisex shirt, so I definitely can sell it. Um, a man might be interested or a, a scorpion woman. You never know. So just a white, I mean a black shirt, sorry. This is a, just a plain green, no boundaries t-shirt. Very super soft. Um, this right here, I don't, it's Leo. It's, it's if you're a Leo, so I'm gonna advertise this really well for a Leo. And again, it's, it's a unisex shirt, so a man or a woman. So those are the bleach shirts. I'll come back after I've done the bleaching pro process and do a, the full video and you'll be able to see that. So here are the shirts that I'm going to tie-dye. And tie-dye doesn't just have to be a white shirt. So I'm going to add like color, you know, who doesn't love Friends? So this is Friends. It's Friends, the television series, size medium. So that one plain white H&M shirt. I always like white, especially white. If you have a white shirt that has like stains or anything, tie-dye is the best way to bring it back to life, to create sustainable fashion and to sell it. You know, um, this one right here, another H&M. I like this. It's long sleeve. This one does have quite a few light stains on it. So I can see why thread up, put it into a rescue box, but I'm going to bring this back to life. Um, 
there's that and then here is a ralph lauren striped shirt it has the polo sign on the front it is striped you may think oh why do you want to tie dye i think it'll be fun so i can't wait to see how that turns out right and then these last three shirts are all long sleeve thermal shirts um so this one is a peach color this is no boundaries this one's red so i might change my mind and bleach it so we'll see here's this just a long sleeve thermal shirt and here is a pink long sleeve i think these may have the same person may have sent all these in so this is pink so that's my shirts um those are the shirts that i'm going to do something with again thread up rescue box it you can't beat it i bought a fun box and i bought a puzzle box you can't beat it check it out come back stay tuned for the finished work okay friends so it's been a couple days i am back i am going to show you the finished product of these items that i either bleach or tie-dye the only item that i did not keep was the tank um, marona top it looked exactly the same i don't know what kind of fabric or material that it was it wouldn't bleach and it also wouldn't hold any dye so i decided to get rid of it and not even bring it back into the video so for people who you know knew it was here i wanted to let you know that ahead of time so i'm going to go in the order in which i did the first part of the video where i showed you the items straight out of the box what they look like now i'm going to reveal to you what the completed work is i didn't feel like breaking up my video and putting the videos together so i just did the first part and now you'll see the second part so just i thank you for indulging me so here are the shirts the first pile i'm going to show you is the bleach pile okay that first group of shirts so remember that dunkin donuts top friends don't let friends drink starbucks here it is so that is the bleaching process there. So the back, how cool, right? Nice, nice. And I just like bleaching. I think this was a spiral technique. That's that first one. And then this one is that Native American shirt. This is a child shirt. And what it looks on the back. So bleaching is very similar to tie-dye. I just bunched this shirt together and rubber band it. And since I was doing a whole lot at one time, I just filled a bucket with um, water and bleach and let it sit in there. You don't have to let it sit in there long. And then I drain them, cut the rubber bands and throw them into the washing machine. So here's that spooky shirt with the eyes. This is gonna be such an awesome shirt for um, Halloween but I just like to see the pattern and depending on the color of the shirt, it's going to be lighter or darker. Okay. And so this is the one Queens in the North are born in March. So this is what this looks like. Look at the sleeves. Such a great pattern. Look at that. It's amazing what you can do with bleach, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the back of that. That is such an awesome pattern. So all of these shirts are going to be available in my Etsy store. There'll be a link in the comment section. This is that um, plain long sleeve Marona shirt. Let's see that this that alone. It's just you take some rubber bands and you bunch it up and you stick it in some bleach, right? Look at that. So I, I think this is really great. This is this scorpion shirt. And I am not going to sell it because I decided to give it to my husband. It's his size. It came out and I thought of him instantly. He is a Scorpio. And so I thought it would be very significant. I asked him, I was like, honey, you want it? And he was like, definitely leave it here now. And I was like, well, I have to do a video. I have to take photos. So here is this, the scorpion shirt. Look at the great pattern. Look how beautiful this turned out. Like, man, like, look at that. Look at that. I just, I just like this so much. It's so different than that black shirt, right? And then here is the green. I did this in bleach as well. This is the green no boundary shirt. And look how great that turned out. 
and it actually just looks like you tie-dyed it, right? You would think that it was a white shirt that was tie-dyed with green, but just putting in the bleach, that's what we get. And then the last shirt for the bleaching process was the Leo shirt. And that's how that one came out. I, I really just love the unique patterns that it creates. Like, look at the back. Very nice. So those are all the shirts that I bleached. I'm super excited how they turned out. They're all going to be for sale on my Etsy store. Um, most of my handmade only on Etsy. It works out for me. It's totally like a separate business. So I probably won't put anything on Poshmark. But if there's anything that you see, you can just send me a message and we can figure something out. Here's my friend shirt. The pattern turned out really nicely, but I wasn't thinking I should have like bunched it or put something on the front. I made the ladies green. They have green teeth, but I'm still going to put it up for sale. But this look, I used blue and green. This was a pink shirt. And so I use blue and green, but it's still great. The pattern is, is beautiful. And for people who like friends, they'll still like this shirt, but that's what that looks like. Okay. And this was the white V neck H and M top. Look at that. I use tan brown. totally different than what you saw and when it was white such a great pattern I can't wait to put this up on my my Etsy store I love any shirt this white any fabric this white because I like to see how it's going to come out and this is the H&M long sleeve shirt now remember this shirt had like a little bit of stain as you couldn't see it from where you were but it, instead of it being white, it was kind of dull and had like several spots all over it. And this is what it looks like now. Such a picture of fall. Look how pretty that is. This is, um, the dye color is wine, then it's yellow and it's orange. And it looks to me like fall leaves. So there's that. Look at that. I try to make videos when there's no sirens and things going on, but I live in a house. What can you do, right? And then this shirt right here was the Stripe um, Ralph Lauren polo shirt. And I just, all I did was just use black dye for this one because it was gray. It was already a gray shirt with lines. So I just used black dye and look how that came out. Such a great shirt, right? And then these last three are the long sleeve thermal shirts. The first one, remember, it was like a peach, but after I used, um, I just used purple dye for this. So it dulled it down a little bit, and this is what the pattern that came out. This is just purple on that peach colored tie dye, um, the peach colored, I'm sorry, long sleeve thermal shirt. Look at that. And amazing bring a new life sustainable fashion look at that okay and so this was the one that I said was red and I was thinking about bleaching it and I said yeah never mind I'm just going to put some blue on it so you know what happens with red and blue if you know your colors right primary colors make the secondary color purple so there you go so that was actually blue dye that I put on there, but because the top was red, it turned it into purple. And so I'm so glad that I dyed it instead of bleaching. Bleach would have brought a whole nother level, but I like the fact that I was able to create this. And then my last shirt was that pink thermal shirt. And again, I think the same person huh, sent all of these in. And here is this. And this is that same wine color and purple. There we go. So there. How pretty, right? It's, it's amazing. And that's all my shirts. And like, it's amazing how you can just take a shirt, use dye, use bleach, and you've changed it into something totally different. And the cool thing is you can make money. And what I want to say to you that 
if you've been hesitant about trying tie-dye, if you've been hesitant about bleaching, if you've been hesitant about creating any type of art to sell, try it. That's all you can do. It doesn't hurt to try it and sell. If you're hesitant about starting like an Etsy store, don't. Use your Poshmark platform. Use Macari. The reason that I don't sell my items on Poshmark is because Poshmark, of course, takes a 20%. There are people who are going to want to buy, but I know definitely the people who come to Etsy come with either vintage in mind or handmade in mind. So I can't lose. It's a win-win. And there you go. I, I just opened up a brand new separate store for my tie-dye. It's been so successful that I said, let me jump in and create some sustainable fashion. I paid $16.99 for that box because I had a coupon. I have points. I send packages in. I shop it, thread up, and um, those, package, those points add up. So when you go to make a purchase, you can use your points and it subtracts either from shipping or a coupon code for a percentage off. So I basically paid little to nothing for that box. I created sustainable fashion that now I can sell on my handmade shop. And there you go. One shirt will take care of the cost of that one box that I purchased of 25 shirts. I use all but nine shirts, 10 shirts. You can't beat that at all. Okay, so I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you've gotten um, some ideas in your mind and you will take the leap and be brave to create your own sustainable fashion or do something with your art. Michael. Hey friends, I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and then check out any additional videos that I might have highlighted over in the corner. Take care.